Hi guys, welcome to part two of the Mavic Drone. I'm going to run through some of the things that I found a little bit difficult about setup. Mostly it was great, really, really straightforward. But there's one thing that I did which I think might save a lot of time potentially if, if you're setting up your, your drone for the first time. Okay. Um, let's just get on with this first because I don't think this came out too well in part one, should we say. But look at the size of that. I mean, my hands are tiny and that just fits just about on my hand. And it's so, so light. You know, for what it does, it really is amazing. There is this little bit of plastic that when you're traveling, it fits under here and it just keeps the gimbal in place. And it, it's really, you know, you don't have to use it, but personally, I would always put it back in because it's really useful it just stops that getting damaged. And then you've got this plastic which goes over here and again stops anything from damaging the little tiny camera and I have flown this just in the garden and it's stunning it really is so the first thing that you have to do is attach these two uh, propellers and they actually give you two sets and they're really neat they come in these little bags and there's two and as you can see it's really easy one of them doesn't have any white on it one of them has white on Let's see if you guys can see that okay okay and that's it so all you do is on the drain one of these has white on which is there and this one doesn't so it's just a simple matter of putting them in twisting them slightly and they're ready and that's all you have to do now opening the kind of legs arms whatever you want to call it is really easy those just pop out the ones on the bottom if you turn it over they kind of come out this way which is a bit odd at first but that's it it's ready okay now this part is the bit I just had a slight bit of problem with, not with the transmitter at all actually, but just with kind of getting the phone set up. I've changed this, you get different uh, kind of connectors. This one is for an Android phone, so I changed mine and it's really easy, you just literally pull that out of there, put the other one in, really easy to change. Took, took seconds but the bit I had problems with is when I put my phone okay into here it's really easy to do that plugs into the end of the phone there and put it all in the bit that I had to trouble with was, was setting it up setting the phone up to register with DJI and that was the bit I had a problem with and I, I don't know what I was doing wrong somebody will probably know what I was doing wrong but the actual flight of the, of the, of the Mavic is, is amazing, really super easy to do. And I'll go through that on another video, guys. But that's the only bit I find difficult, was you go through a few settings, once you've plugged this in, go through the settings, and it's really, really easy. But then it says login. So I went to kind of login, put my email address, put in a password, click login and it said, you're not registered, register now. Click register now, put in a password, sorry, put in my email address, put in a password, register, login, login, not registered, register now. And I went on doing that for ages and I thought, I, I just don't know how I can get round this. And I looked to see if there's anything I should have been doing and there wasn't, it didn't appear to be. So I had an idea, unclipped everything, just went on here, went on to, Googled DGI register, got on that, registered, put in my email address, password, confirm password, register, fine. When I next attach this to the handset, it then registered it without any problem at all, accepted, and it was easy. So don't do what I did and spend ages doing that. Register with DGI first, just Google DGI register, and then you've got it. And the rest is really, really easy. 
Now to get the battery out of the drone to charge it up, you just push these two at the side. And it pops out. So once you've got the battery out, you need to charge it. Now this is the charger and that just obviously plugs into there. You've got two leads on here. This lead is the one that you need to plug into the battery and it's really really easy. That just goes onto the battery like so. And it's ready to charge. Okay. The other lead, which has a USB on one end and this little kind of connect on the other end, that goes into here also. And that plugs into here. So where this was for the phone, just take that out and this plugs into there, ready to charge that up. If I get it the right way around, that'll be good. And that's it. So that's ready then to charge absolutely everything. I'm not going to go into details of how to set up to fly or anything, because I'm not that good at it yet. Uh, I'm working on it. Um, so what I'll do is fly it a few times first and then kind of go through, through that with you guys, if you'd like to know about that though. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And uh, please subscribe so you don't miss the maiden flight over the Mulvins. Cheers, guys. Bye.